Hey, Tim Destasio here. It's Psychrometric Saturday once again, and today we're going to talk about return duct gains. This is very important, especially in markets where you have ducts running through unconditioned spaces like crawl spaces, and especially vented, hot, unconditioned attics like I have here in my market in the southeast. Now, return ducts are very important because when that return duct picks up a bunch of heat, that can affect the performance of the HVAC unit. So let's look at a typical setup that we would have when we're checking the performance of a unit. We've got two smart probes here, one in the supply duct and one here at the return grill. And that's going to give us a set of operating conditions on our supply side as well as our return side. Now let's not worry about the supply side because today we're talking about the return duct. So just so you don't get distracted, we'll get rid of that one. But let's talk about what we can do on the return side. Now let's say that we plot a point here measuring at the return grill, the return inlet. We're essentially reading an average of the indoor conditions, 75 degree dry bulb and 55 degree dew point going side to side. Now we've talked a lot about dew point, relative humidity. When we plot that point out, it intersects right around the 50% relative humidity curve. And that's really a perfect target scenario for indoor conditions. Now, here's how you can screen for return duct gains and be able to interpret that with your readings. Let's now move this sensor from the return grill to now the return plenum really close to the unit. Let's see what happens to our conditions. In a perfect world, they should not change. The air coming in here should be at the same exact conditions as the air here, but in real life, sometimes it is very different. Now, let's say, for example, that our dry bulb temperature went up. Instead of being at 75 degree dry bulb, we're, not, we're now at 80 degree dry bulb. So let's plot a new line here. All right, so we've got a new point that we've plotted. Instead of being here, we are here. And so our ductwork picked up five degrees of dry bulb temperature, but let's just say for this example that our dew point stayed the same. What did that tell us? Well, we picked up dry bulb temperature and no moisture. So that tells us that our return duct is probably going through a hot, unconditioned space and through the process of just heat conducting through the materials that make up that ductwork, even if it's insulated, it will still conduct through insulation just a little bit. And we picked up five degrees of heat. Now that is pretty significant, five degrees of heat, but you will see that in the field. The longer the ductwork, the less insulated it is, the hotter the attic is going to be, the more temperature that we're going to pick up. Now, what if we picked up more dew point? Let's say that instead of it being here is our second point, that our dew point went up to 65 degrees. So now our point is right here. What does that tell us? Well, our return duct picked up moisture. And the only way that it can pick up moisture is through a return duct leak. And so now we've done a return duct leak screening without even having to get any kind of airflow measurements. It is a great tool to use when your return ducts are running through an unconditioned space, especially a space that has a different humidity level than the indoors. Now, something else to point out, we cannot use relative humidity to do this test. We have to use absolute humidity or dew point or grains of moisture if you prefer to use the right side of the scale, but we cannot use relative humidity because that humidity is on a curve. As our dry bulb increased from 75 to 80 degrees, our relative humidity changed. And so relative humidity is just that, it's relative to the amount of moisture that the air can hold at that temperature, but dew point doesn't lie. So I hope that you use that return duct gain or duct leak screening test. Take your reading first at the grill and then use the same exact sensor to, to take a second reading at the return plenum really close to the unit. Plot both points on the psychrometric chart or use the psychrometric app. If your duct picked up more dry bulb temperature than you think it should, maybe it's not insulated well, but if it picked up moisture in addition to that, chances are you have a return duct leak, which is really, really important to fix. That's all for today. Thanks for watching Psychrometric Saturday.